YouTube, welcome back. I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while now, and uh, finally got some time this morning to, to come out here and do it. And I feel sick to my stomach being here and uh, knowing what's going on. I'm standing in a place, um, kind of in my neck of the woods. Uh, it's a recreation area. It's a OHV off-highway vehicle area. Um, there's campgrounds here. It's it's pretty desolate. There's no uh, no houses or really anything like that out here. This is the place you go when you live uh, in Southern California. You come here to ride your dirt bikes. You bring your horses. You bring your kids and go camping. Uh, it's one of those areas. It's it's quite a bit of land. It's quite a few miles um, as far as size. Uh, it's called McCain Valley, McCain Valley, and uh, it's in uh, East County, San Diego. Like I said, it's a recreational ve uh, vehicle area, um, be it dirt bikes or horses or what have you. Uh, this is public land. This is land that belongs to me. This is land that belongs to you. And apparently, now, this is land that belongs to a wind farm corporation. You see, it's illegal for companies to, let's just say, uh, steal public land and start making money using it. But that is exactly what's going on here. Uh, in this area, the uh, powers that be have authorized a company, a corporation, a business, to steal our land put up their wind generation turbines and make money off of it. I can't tell you how many turbines are going up here. It is a very substantial wind farm uh, right behind me. That's one of the uh, masts, I guess, going up. And this is just a small part. There's two of these sitting right here behind me. And you got that guy right there. That attaches to it as well. Here's the actual turbine itself in this box. If you go here, that's the part that you mount the blades to. And I'm looking, I'm at kind of the top of a hill, and uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me with this wind, but uh, I'm at the top of the hill and I see many, many other sites around here. They, they've basically stolen our land and using it to generate money. It's sickening. It really is. Uh, I'm standing here. I'm walking around this job site, which you would think would be off limits. But again, it's public land. They can't fence this. It's our land, supposedly. So they're, they brought up the facade that it's still our land, and it is a facade. It's a lie. They're putting these huge, huge wind turbines up to make money on our land. We don't see a penny of it, of course. And here in Southern California, we pay a premium for electricity. My electricity bill usually runs about $500 a month. They steal my land to make more electricity to overcharge me again. Here's the inside of one of these monsters. Just sickening. The reason why I'm making this video is because for any of you out there that watch these channels that think the government has our best interests as far as we the people, our best interests at heart, think again. It is all about money, it's all about power, and it's all about controlling us, making us believe that we live in a free country. You know, how is it free when the government can come in and steal from us, create revenue because of stealing from us, and then sell us back their product that they create on our land at an inflated rate? That is not freedom. That is tyranny. What they're doing here is supposed to be illegal. I am a business owner. 
I cannot go to public land and put an office building there and start making money. That is illegal. However, these guys are doing it. These guys are doing it on a huge scale. This used to be a beautiful area. This system and this facade of freedom that we're living in, it's a joke. It's a joke. We, the people, have to follow the rules. Because if we, the people, do not follow the rules, we get our shit confiscated. We get our homes stolen. We get our accounts levied. We go to prison. Our lives are ruined if we don't follow the rules. But if you're big business and you have some politicians in your back pocket, those rules don't apply to you. Those rules do not apply to you. So the moral of the story, I guess, here is if you have money, you are above the law. If you have power, you are above the law. If you have position, you are above the law. If you're a regular Joe trying to feed his family, oh boy, if you think you're above the law, they will kill you. They will ruin your life, they will take your shit, and they will not think twice about ending your life. But these guys, they come out and steal from us in every possible way. This is a literal theft. I'm walking on stolen land at this point. And they're going to make electricity here, sell it to us at a premium, an inflated rate, and rob us again. Not to mention the property values in the surrounding area that take a nosedive up to sometimes 50% where these monstrosities are built. It has been noted that property values can deduct up to 50% if you're near a wind farm or a solar farm. I happen to be near this wind farm. So how do I recoup all my losses because of this? So they steal my land. They rob me with their power bills. And they rob me again by deducting a huge percentage of my property's value. What recourse do I have? Nothing. Nothing. You try to fight these guys, again, they will ruin you. They will take whatever meager possessions they have allowed you to keep at the very end. You know, the scraps. We're nothing but little puppies begging for scraps at the table of the masters. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. This is McCain Valley behind me. There's another area where they're putting up a turbine. There's another area where they're putting up a turbine. There's another one. There's another one towards the back there. There's two more over there. Oh, can't forget this one. Here's where they park their big ass trucks on our land that we're not being compensated for. We're not being compensated for any of this. They stole from us. They're ruining the lives of people that live in this area that sink their entire life savings into their properties just to have the value decrease up to 50% like they're doing here. Blattner is the name of the contractor working out here. Blattner Power Systems or Blattner Energy or something like that. This is just one tiny little example of what's going around the whole country. We are constantly being robbed you guys, we are constantly being robbed. We are being pissed on and being told it's rain that we should be thankful for having the rain. This is sad. You know, this was an awesome place at one time. Now, it's just going to be a wind farm. 
I guarantee you, I can tell you what's going to happen now. I drove in here, there's no gates, there's no security, there's nothing. Again, because they're giving us the illusion that this is uh, still our property. But what happens when one kid on a dirt bike runs his ass right into one of these things and dies? Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They will block this shit off. This place will be illegal to be on. If you're here, you're trespassing. And it's because of our safety. They want to keep us safe. Poor little Johnny died when he rode his little dirt bike into a windmill. So we got to protect the rest of the people around here. And we're going to block this shit off. So now, they own the entire thing. Lock, stock, and barrel. We have just been robbed once again. This is sickening. This is happening all over the country. I went to the Grand Canyon about a month and a half ago. There's a wind farm going up just west of the highway that leads to the South Rim. Here in this area, there's a little town called Hakumba. They built a massive solar power plant right near the border. Again, devaluing the property of the people that live around it. No recourse, no reimbursement, nothing. Just a big freaking middle finger to we the people. If this doesn't piss you off, there's something wrong with you. Because this pisses the hell out of me. Pisses me off. An illusion of freedom. That's what, how we're living in this country. An illusion of freedom. Let me know, if, are you guys affected by this where you live? Do you have these big energy projects going up, destroying people's lives? Or are you a green energy nut? I think this is all good. And this is progress. By the way, wind energy, if you do the research on it, is one of the worst ways to create electricity. It's the most expensive, the most unreliable way to create electricity. That's all right. Because you know who doesn't have to deal with this? The politicians. Blattner, they don't have to deal with this. This isn't next to their house. The areas that they take their kids camping to, they don't have to worry about it. They don't have wind turbine farms. That's just for us peons to deal with. Tell me what you guys think. Sad day. Rapid drive, you guys.